Good afternoon, this is Jason Scott. Today is the 27th of May. We're still looking at the Tropical Storm Barrel, which is uh, approaching the northeast coast of Florida and southern sections of Georgia. You're looking at the radar loop. It's showing the storm is bringing in uh, bands of rain, thunderstorms, and some in which are pretty heavy downpours moving along the Florida coast. The 2 p.m. advisory has been issued by the National Hurricane Center and they're showing that the storm has intensified a little bit more to 65 miles per hour. Now it will take 74 mile per hour winds to classify it as a hurricane. And this system could still possibly reach hurricane status, but right now the National Hurricane Center is saying that no more additional strengthening is possible before landfall. If you're tracking it, it's located at 30.1 north, 79.9 west, or about 110 miles to the east of Jacksonville, Florida, or 120 miles to the southeast of Burnswick, Georgia. Maximum sustained winds at 65 miles per hour. Minimal center pressure is 29.44 inches and 90 or 99.7 millibars. Moving west at 10 miles per hour and tropical storm warnings remain in effect along the northeast coast of Florida and southern Georgia. Satellite imagery showing that Burrow has strengthened now to a maximum of 65 mile an hour winds with higher gusts. Little change in strength is expected before landfall. After landfall, Burrow should, is forecast to weaken to a depression on Monday, but bring lots of rainfall to northeast coast of Florida and into Georgia. And the system is expected to re-enter the Atlantic once again, and it may intensify back to a tropical uh, cyclone at that point off the coast of North Carolina. Again, we're tracking it here at uh, Central uh, Cyclone Warning Center .com. We'll keep up with the latest on our website as well. And again, if you're tracking it, it's at 30.1 north, 79.9 west, and folks along the coast should be very uh, aware that the rip currents are very dangerous and you should not be out doing any kind of surfing in such uh, condition because rip currents can really be very uh, dangerous at this point. This system uh, is subtropical and once it uh, reaches land it's going to spawn some uh, water spouts out in the uh, Atlantic offshore and also inland will be some tornadic activity as well because some of these systems do have rotation and these thunderstorms as they push on shore especially with these subtropical storms they're more um, conducive of developing tornadic activity. Keep it posted right here we'll keep you informed with the latest. This is Jason Scott saying have a good evening.